you know, way back we were focused mainly on heart disease, for example. You know, get the cholesterol down, get the diabetes away, get the, you know, blood pressure down and prevent stroke and heart attack. And now we've done a good job of that. So now we have older people that now qualify for diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, cancer, because they're living much longer. And then so what we do is we change again and we say, okay, let's attack those diseases and then they'll live longer and then we'll get different diseases. And so that's the medicine that's changing and evolving. Um, to match the needs of the people. I think room for improvement is this, this working together because I think that takes some time to get used to for the patient as well as for the practitioner. I notice that our older patients are still very much in the old mode which is tell me what to do kind of thing. Whereas I notice the younger patients coming up are sort of saying look I want to say in what happens to the treatments and things like that. So I think that's the blend that we have to work through. I would suspect that over the next five or ten years it'll be much more of a partnership between patient and doctor. And I see also less of treating the disease. You know we used to treat heart attack when it happened. Now we're treating the things that lead to a heart attack. So I hope one day instead of treating cancer that we treat the things that lead to cancer. So we always trying to say how early can we tackle the disease so that hopefully nobody will get the disease. I mean I have a dream that for every patient is that they stay very well. No disease. And then on the last day you get every disease. Chicken pox, mumps, everything. And then you're done and then that way your, your quality of life was really good. So that's really what we're hoping for is that we understand disease to the point where we can prevent it from ever occurring. And that's really how we'll be able to take care of all these baby boomers. And that's how we're going to take care of people so that they actually lead a good life.